elderflower, the flower of the elder tree. In today's video, I'm going to explain how to identify elderflower and three reasons as to why you should. The last one might surprise you. Elderflower has one of the longest lists of benefits out of any plant that I'm going to mention this year. Some of these include joint pain relief, reducing inflammation, acne relief, helps rashes, helps dry skin, cures constipation, and can help stop the flu. If that doesn't entice you, then I don't know what will. Elderflower can be used in one of my favorite ways to ever use a plant, and that's you can actually make a cordial out of it. The leaves smell absolutely heavenly, and they taste heavenly as well in the cordial, and you receive all the benefits. The only thing to look out for though in elderflower cordial is the sugar content. Some of you might not like the amount of sugar that's in it. If the sugar is too much for you, you can always use the fresh flowers to make them into a tea. Before I continue though, let me tell you how to safely identify elderflower and reduce all possible lookalikes. To identify elderflower, you must first look at the tree, starting with the leaves, which are a dark green glossy color and have an oval shape. The flowers consist of many small cream colored flower heads, which can be hard to miss from a distance. The elderflowers have a really pleasant sweet taste and it's definitely worth foraging for. Make sure to forage for elderflower when the tree is in flower because no other part of the tree is edible at this time of the year and the flower is what you're after. Just before we continue, I wanted to let you know that I've started a Discord server where like-minded foragers can help each other out, make new friends, and it's gonna be just a great community over there. So if you are interested in joining, please press the link down in the description below. Probably the most important thing you should know about elderflower is the cyanide content. Well, sort of. The tree contains cyanide-inducing glycosides, which turn into cyanide in the body. But do not worry, because this is not the case in the flowers. It's only the case in the bark and the stems. But now it's time for the surprising facts. If you look more than just the flowers, and if you look at the actual tree itself, sometimes you can find a small brown mushroom called wood ear. This is also a very edible mushroom, but it doesn't contain any cyanide because it's not an actual part of the tree. I hope this video has helped you guys. Remember to stick to the flowers only and forage Earth's bounty.